Portland Community College is building a 32,000 square foot facility in Scappoos, Oregon, which will be the home of the college's Advanced Manufacturing Innovation Center. The center is also known as the PCC Omic Training Center. PCC invested in 17 acres of land in Columbia County. Building the training center facility is the first place of development for this location. PCC's building and program are not only close proximity to the Omic R&D campus, but they also complement this larger initiative built upon a partnership between industry, academia, government, community, and education leaders in Columbia County. PCC is part of the Oregon Manufacturing Innovation Center initiative. And what makes this initiative so exciting is that we're combining world-class research and development with workforce training. Here in Columbia County, we have a community that's invested. Uh, not only do we have local industry partners that are, are looking for a skilled workforce, but we have partners in the local schools, the elected leaders, and the community members that are invested in, in this initiative, not just to support manufacturing, but to support this community. Our industry partners wanted a training facility that resembled a real manufacturing environment. So the complexity of these programs require a thoughtfully designed building uh, that will give students the type of experience that they'll see in the real world. So we're here at the, the front entrance of the OMIC Training Center. So I just came through the front door right here. If you can imagine, there'll be, there'll be a small breakout area here with some soft seating, some couches and chairs where folks will be able to sit down. Over here to my left, this is going to be a glass window here looking directly into the mechatronics space. Across from the mechatronics lab is going to be the PLC lab or the programmable logic controller. Again, this is a, this is a lab here in the building that has a direct connection with mechatronics, which is why they're close, close to one another across the hallway. I'm standing here in basically the heart of the building. There's going to be uh, tables and, and seating here for students to collaborate and sit at, study with one another. Directly across from this collaborative space, you have a large glass window here that's going to be where the, the boardroom is. So a large conference room, executive style boardroom. There's lockers, there's going to be vending, there's going to be different things like that for them to take advantage of while they're here in this main hub of the building. Directly over my right shoulder here is going to be the fabrication lab. It's going to be very similar in, in size and, and shape to the mechatronics lab. Across from the fab lab is the CAD lab, computer aided drafting lab. So the, the CAD lab will be here. Uh, students will be inside working on computers, working on CAD programs. They have a direct connection with what's going on in the fab lab, which is again why we put them in direct proximity to one another. So I'm here on the east end of the building again. So the measurement and verification lab is right over my right shoulder here. This will be a large glass window here with a door. There'll be tools and whatnot for the students to use. The measurement and verification lab is right next door to the fabrication lab. There's actually a direct connection. There'll be a door inside there that allows students to flow directly in and out of the measurement and verification lab. So I'm standing in the new welding space here at OMIC. So this is going to be a really exciting space. We spent a lot of time and energy. We worked with our industry partners to really design this space the way it needs to be. This space here will have welding booths on each side. There'll be eight individual welding booths on each side of this room. They're about five by five. Down in the middle will be a common walkway with some cutting tables and some track cutters and things like that in here. This is the open machine and fabrication bay. This will be housing CNC machines and lathes and mini mills and different things like that. Large, large boxy pieces of equipment will be housed in this space. It's really going to be the heart of the building. It's going to be a lot of activity. It's going to have these high, tall ceilings to kind of give students that feel of what it's really like out in the industry. And that was important for us to, to make sure that what we did here translated very cleanly and, and easily out into the real world as, as students learn what they need to and, and move out there. At Mortensen, safety is a core value. Our mission is zero injuries every day we come to work. This means ensuring that all of our team members and all of those that work on our job sites go home at the end of the day to their friends and families in the same condition they arrived in the morning. And that mission holds true with the COVID-19 pandemic. We have utilized technology, proactive planning, and enhanced PPE measures to provide the safest working environment to all of our team members and project partners. Technology use in the field, 
such as projectors, helps convey schedules and field logistics in a large-scale, concise format that makes it easier to facilitate communication to workers on-site while maintaining appropriate physical distancing. Mortensen's proactive planning process allows us to streamline activities, keeping only the minimum required number of workers on-site at one time. We require and enforce the face covering policy issued by the CDC and government agencies. We conduct verbal health screenings of all workers prior to beginning work on site, perform additional cleaning services, provide touchless hand washing stations, and have built physical barriers in equipment lift baskets to maintain six foot physical distancing. This is a challenging time for everyone, but Mortensen could not be more excited to bring PCC's vision of a world-class training facility for manufacturing apprentices to life here in Scapoose. PCC has been actively engaged in Columbia County for several years, but this is the first time we'll have a, a physical presence here in the county, and that's really exciting. And so we've started with apprenticeship classes at, at Scapoose High School, um, and we're excited to expand those, those classes in the new facility in the spring of 2021. Our goal is to train and inspire the next generation of advanced manufacturers. So we're gonna offer pre-apprenticeship, apprenticeship, and more traditional career and technical education programs like machining, welding, mechatronics, and CAD. Uh, the idea is to get people not only interested in these careers, but get them the skills that they need to be successful on day one. The construction of PCC's OMIC Training Center is on schedule for completion in December of 2020. The college has plans on a soft opening during the spring of 2021. These plans remain flexible as the college continues to monitor the impact of the novel coronavirus and determines a safe rollout of college operations. This location will bring infrastructure and services to Columbia County and add to the existing four campuses and 10 centers throughout PCC's 1500 square mile service area.